less than 13, the volume around the y-axis. Before we start, there's just a little bit of theory. Um, when we're revolving around the y-axis, right, we have this little section here we're going to revolve around. And what that will generate will be a little cylinder. The radius of this here is x, and the height here is dy. Now if you recall the volume of a cylinder v, or this will be dv because the time it's thither, that is equal to pi times the radius, which is x squared dy. We're going to sum up all these little disks from this point to this point. So again, we'll need the limits. We know this one's zero. So this one here, we can see when x equals naught, y equals minus 4. So we're going to do it from minus 4 up to 0. Okay, so the volume then is equal to pi times x squared dy between minus 4 to 0. Now that will be equal to pi integral naught of minus 4. Now x squared, we'll just rearrange this and take this across the other side, and that's going to become y plus 4. dy. Okay, so it's a fairly easy one to integrate. Keep, don't forget the pi, leave that out the front when you integrate, and you get y squared on 2 plus 4y. Right, and that's between 0 and 84. Now, putting these in, we get pi outside. Now, this will become 0, but it's minus. Right, now put the minus 4 in there, it becomes 16 on 2, which is 8. And put the minus 4 in there, it becomes minus 16. Just be very careful with the signs here. Because that becomes minus 8. This is negative, so it becomes positive 8. So the answer is 8 pi units cubed. If you'd made the mistake and went from minus 4 to 0, this would have become a negative result. So just be very careful when you're, you're setting up the integral with these, these limits. So notice that we, we actually went from here, minus 4, up that way. Okay, Moving in that, that positive direction up.